In sport, you have to get the edge on your opponent. Milliseconds, millimetres make all the difference. Every element of performance needs to be scrutinised. To have biomechanic feedback on the, the correct pedalling, how I'm seated in the bike, um, how aerodynamic I am, it all makes a massive difference. And as um, British Cycling do, they have marginal gains. And that's what I'm looking for now. This is Liz's second session with the Human Performance Department at the University of Lincoln and it's already helped a number of top athletes reach perfection. Two main objectives we have with this type of biomechanical analysis. The most important one and the one that usually matters to the athlete is improving his or her performance. Um, but also we have to, to remain conscious about the risk of injury. So we're trying to, to get technique that's optimum technique in terms of performance uh, but also reduces the risk of injury. Liz started in triathlons, and despite switching her focus to cycling just a year ago, she's recently finished in the top three for both races and time trials across Europe. I'm now ranked sixth in the world in my category for um, hand cycling, and uh, I'm ranked second in Europe at the moment, but I've got one more competition to go, and I'm hoping to bump my ranking up and be first in Europe. But it depends who turns up for the races. Um, that you can't predict. And it's not the first time she's turned to alternative methods to get ahead. We first met Liz in 2006 when Tai Chi had helped her regain mobility just a year after a serious diving accident left her unable to walk. Eight years on, she's aiming high. My sporting career aims are definitely to get to Rio. Um, I may not medal at Rio, but there's always a chance. So just to take part, to be honest, and to be able to represent my country as well, that would be fantastic. There's still two years to go until the Games, but Liz's high-tech training means her preparations are already underway. Sarah Walton, BBC Look North, Lincoln.